bio sector. I only got two articles here that I want to review. One is about co-diagnostics, NAPS US patent covering COVID-19 tests. What? Yeah. The USPTO has issued a new patent to co-diagnostics, code X, covering its co-primer technology used in its COVID-19 test and other molecular assays. The patient, which builds on an earlier patent awarded in October 2018 covering certain applications of the co-primer molecule, applies to the physical structure of the molecule. Chairs are up 4% pre-market on live volume, and we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at what Codex is doing pre-market. CODX is the symbol. Co-diagnostics yesterday becoming, still not becoming, is still bearish. But we are looking towards this area. This area that we got a support level, guys. This is an important area. So let's see if this article has made co-diagnostics bullish. 1490. Hey, not bullish, but basically supporting itself in that zone. Even though I wouldn't mind seeing co-diagnostics go back down to 1133, we just want to see more numbers. And I think this actually helps out. There's a trend line over here that we want to break. There's a gap over here that we want to close. And I think that Codex is starting to get ready, guys. It's cooking, marinating, because otherwise Gordon Ramsay will be pissed at us because mm -mm, we can't give him some raw stuff. Look I know. At this. Dude, what? Look. Early in the morning. Don't, don't bother me. It's still not. Look. We're waiting for the confirmation, Gordon. We're waiting. Cold diagnostics. Yes. Why? When I do say that, guys, it's a break of a trend line like this, you know, with higher highs, higher lows. Higher highs. This is a good structure. He see co-diagnostics here was looking very, very good. And it reached that $30 level. Actually 31, 38. Very, very good for co-diagnostics. We'll keep an eye on it and see how it will close today. The other one that I wanted to take a look in the bio sector, ladies and gentlemen, is CureVac to supply 225 million. COVID-19 vaccine doses to the EU. Coronavirus! Yes, Cardi, thank you. The European Commission concludes exploratory talks with CureVac for a contractual framework to purchase as many as 225 million COVID-19 vaccine doses once, approved, once proved to be safe and effective. The company made a successful U.S. debut on August 14th, jumping out of the gate in its IPO at $44, and holy mofongo, where the heck is our friend Andrew Grande? Because, dude, CureVac, let's see where he's at. Well, the other day, when he had the IPO, it was way, way better, right? Let me see. So CureVac yesterday, $56.62, and we had this trend line. And right now, CureVac, $63. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Holy mofongo. Dude, that's a self high five. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. The gap. Close the gap. Trend line. It breaks the trend line. So now, if anything, I would love to see CureVac go back down, create some higher lows. But man, oh man, see what patience does, guys. Now we have a profitable position. Very, very good. Holy mofongos. Very excited about this one. Welcome to the channel, Christopher Ozuna. Boom shakalaka! Good morning, my friend. Good to see you once again over here. What a move for CureVac, guys. What an interesting move. And let's continue with the news. I don't have a lot. You got three more articles coming up.